John, we know the numbers. And that is exactly why availability, quality, and production leave some room for improvement. As you can see, there's a lot of possibilities for us to consider in order to improve our production process. But you know, these robots are not from Dur, right? And first run, 85%. A solid balance. John, we know the numbers. How can we further optimize the plant's overall effectiveness? I'll show you. The maintenance of our plant has a huge potential. But maintenance is already running. Each process has a maintenance assistant based on operating time or the number of shifting operations. In the maintenance path, this is just the good case, John. There's also the better case and even the best case. Why don't you show us how the better case works during pretreatment? Good point, Olivia. You can assess the filter conditions based on AI models, for instance, and start to replace them only if needed. This will save material and staff and reduce downtime. What will the best case look like? In these scenarios, we also monitor process deviations and their influence on body quality. Have a look at the dialysis cells, for example. We track the power consumption at the electrodes and combined with the information of the conveyor technology, we identify irregularities in the applied corrosion protection layer. Well, this means significantly fewer defective car bodies. But what about the paint booth? It's much more complicated. Here, we will probably not get beyond the good case. For sure, we do. Condition-based monitoring of pressure detects leaks at the main needle valve, for example. If something leaks, we can intervene immediately and avoid downtime for component replacement. We could reduce rework on defectively painted car bodies to a minimum. And what about the failure of the shaping air ring? The process deviations are caused by the clogging of individual holes. Which we can monitor in the same way with AI models for a fast reaction. Okay, now I'm curious about the potential regarding the quality. DOOR has the quality path for this scenario. Quality data of the car bodies are compared to order data, and systematic defects can be detected and resolved. Could we actually consider some more data here? Gets even better when the operating states of the individual plant are included. Great! Let's touch base on our performance. That's a big issue, Olivia. Even more when a new color is added. The keyword here is simulation. If we determine the uniform distribution of the layer thickness virtually, we lose less time. As you can see, there's a lot of possibilities for us to consider in order to improve our production process. What would all of these changes mean for the overall equipment effectiveness? All right, which process shall we start first? I would say... Um, May I suggest? Here we choose the better case, and there the best case.